Hi, my name is Brad Frieden with Keysight Technologies. I'd like to take a few minutes to show you how we took our UXR oscilloscope and we turned it into a multi-channel coherent analyzer capable of evaluating various EW systems like radars and jammers. We've combined real-time digital down conversion with variable width segmented capture to make it possible to capture every radar echo and jammer pulse in a typical EW scenario, even if lasting seconds or tens of seconds. Let's take a look at this range gate pull-off jammer. Here on the left, we can see small radar echo reflection pulses on one channel, and then larger jammer pulses on a second channel that appear on top of the radar pulse, and then they move away, they pull away slowly from the radar echo pulses, finally disappearing at the end. The idea is to have the radar range gates to track those moving jammer pulses instead of the real radar echoes. And then when those jammer pulses disappear, that causes the radar to lose track altogether and have to reacquire the target all over again. Here we see the vector signal analyzer application controlling the UXR and analyzing the captured radar echo pulses on channel one and jammer pulses on channel two. Real-time digital down conversion is turned on and we've selected a center frequency of three gigahertz and a 20 megahertz span, just wide enough to capture a 10 megahertz linear FM chirp on the pulses. The signal spectrum is displayed for each signal and we can see a radar echo and jammer pulse being stored into variable width memory segments. And here we see a time versus time heat map for each signal where the x-axis is the time in microseconds that jammer pulses pull away from the radar pulses and the y-axis is the slow time in seconds that this range gate pull-off cycle occurs. The jammer pulses are walking off and here's the heat map curve showing that. With markers, I can click on the first jammer pulse down to the start of the last jammer pulse and then press set delta markers. And down below, we can see that over just over three seconds, we had a 96 microsecond range gate walk off, exactly as it was designed. Another application is the desire to see the rotation of antenna scan patterns on EW signals. Let's take a look at that. Here we see two separate emitters being captured on channels one and two, and we're able to take markers in a log magnitude view over time for each captured pulse train to see the scan patterns. So if we go to the first emitter, we can put a fixed marker at the peak of its captured scan pattern and move a second marker out to the location of its next peak. I'll do the same thing with the second emitter. And what we can see is our expected one and a half second scan pattern on the first emitter and a 0.65 second scan pattern on the second emitter. With all of these measurements, We've been capturing every pulse present, and it's often desired to pull those pulse parameters into pulse tables with factors like the pulse start time, the width, the frequency, the modulation on pulse. Let's take a look at that now. Here we see a capture of our antenna scan pattern again, but this time we're using a pulse table. I can see it's a linear FM chirp, and I'm able to see many different parameters on these pulses that have been captured, like the 10 microsecond width, 100 microsecond pulse repetition interval. This is useful if you want to export the data for additional analysis, but also to drive Keysight signal generators, like the analog and vector UXGs. Here's a menu where I can export the pulse table in its entirety as a CSV file. 
outside analysis. I can also export to Pulse Descriptor Word files, either for the analog UXGs or the vector UXG signal sources, as we have here, that are actually playing the signals uh, that we're measuring. This allows us to capture signals, but then play them back out um, through these signal sources. So we've seen how the UXR oscilloscope can be used as a multi-channel coherent EW analyzer for a variety of applications. And having that real-time digital down conversion combined with variable width segmented capture allowed us to capture every radar echo and jammer pulse in typical scenarios. If you'd like more information about this solution, please contact your local Keysight representative or visit us online. Thanks for watching.